मूवमेंट जनरेटिंग फंक्शन मूवमेंट जनरेटिंग फंक्शन इट इज अ फंक्शन दैट जनरेट्स द मूवमेंट नाउ द क्वेश्चन अराइज वॉट इज द मूवमेंट मूवमेंट्स आर बेसिकली the expected value of a random variable that is expected value of x where x is a random variable and this random variable it could be a discrete random variable or it could be a continuous random variable so this expected value of x it is nothing but the first moment about origin similarly if we are writing expected value of x square so x square this is the second moment about origin and in this way we have expected value of x to the power n that is the nth moment about the origin now these moment where expected value of x it is nothing but the mean of the random variable similarly using this expected value of x square we can find out the variance and here we have other expected values that is expected value of x cube this is used to compute the skewness and expected value of x to the power 4 that is the fourth moment which is used for the kurtosis so in this way we can generate the moments with the help of the moment generating function now how we can define the moment generating function moment generating function it is defined by capital m and here capital x this is the random variable and this t x as a helper so moment generating function of this random variable x this is given by expected value of e to the power t x where this capital x is the random variable t x as a helper and e is the exponential function and this is the expected value of this function now if x is a discrete random variable if x is discrete then the expected value it is given by summation if x is continuous then the expected value it is given by integration for this expected value this is summation over all the values of x and this is integration over all the values of x now whatever be the function here this is e to the power tx and take the probability mass function of this random variable x that is this fx of x it is nothing but the probability mass function here integration this is e to the power tx and this fx of x integrate with respect to dx and this fx of x this is the probability density function so if x is discrete then we'll use summation this definition if x is continuous then we'll use this definition and moment generating function it is nothing but the expected value of e to the power tx now since moment generating function it is used to generate the moments and what are the moments moments are nothing but the expected values of the random variable expected value of x this is the first moment expected value of x square this is the second moment and expected value of x to the power n this is the nth moment so how we can use this moment generating function that is mx of t to compute these moments that is expected value of x expected value of x and expected value of x to the power n so now computation of moments with the help of moment generating function so computation of moments with the help of moment generating function that is mgf so what we are going to do if we need to find out the expected value of x to the power n directly with the help of the moment generating function that is nth moment about origin using the moment generating function this is nothing but need to differentiate the moment generating function how many times nth time so that means differentiate moment generating function with respect to t and then plug in t is equals to 0 if we want to compute expected value of x so that means we need to differentiate moment generating function one time and then plug in t is equals to 0 similarly expected value of x square so expected value of x square that means differentiate moment generating function two times and then plug in t is equals to 0 so what is the proof of this by definition of the moment generating function so what is moment generating function this is mx of t which is nothing but expected value of e to the power tx this is the definition of the moment generating function now we know that 
exponential function e to the power x what is the series expansion of this e to the power x this is 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial and this goes till infinity now similarly because here we require e to the power tx so what is e to the power tx simply replace this x by this tx so this becomes 1 plus tx plus t square x square by 2 factorial plus t cube x cube by 3 factorial and this goes to infinity. Now expected value of e to the power tx. So this becomes expected value of e to the power tx. This is nothing but expected value of this entire series. So this becomes 1 plus tx plus t square x square by 2 factorial plus t cube x cube by 3 factorial and this goes to infinity. Now by properties of expected value, we know that, so this is the property that expected value of x plus y, this is nothing but expected value of x plus expected value of y. So using this property, that means we are using this property to open this expected value, this function. So expected value of e to the power tx, this is equals to expected value of 1 plus expected value of tx plus expected value of t square x square by 2 factorial and this goes till infinity. Now expected value of a constant because expected value of 1 expected value of a constant it is always a constant. So expected value of 1 this is equals to 1 plus expected value of t here t is a constant so this becomes t into expected value of x by using the property expected value of c into x where c is a constant it is c into expected value of x so this is one property and expected value of x plus y this is other property so this plus again t square by 2 factorial it is a constant so this is t square by 2 expected value of x square and this goes till infinity so this is the value of expected value of e to the power tx and we know that this is nothing but the moment generating function so now if we differentiate this moment generating function that is d by dt of mxt. So if we differentiate this moment generating function that means differentiate this entire series with respect to t. So this becomes differentiation of this one with respect to t it is zero because the constant term differentiation is zero plus differentiation of this term here expected value of x is constant so differentiation of this term with respect to t it is coming out to be e to the power e x that is expected value of x similarly differentiation of this this e x square as it is expected value of x square as it is and t square by 2 so this is coming out to be 2t by 2 and this is expected value of x square and similarly for other terms we have this t term now when we plug in t is equals to 0 here that means d by dt mx t and then plug in t is equals to 0 so this is equals to this 0 as it is expected value of x as it is and when we substitute t is equals to 0 in all the other terms we have t so this is simply coming out to be e to the power x so what is expected value that is the first moment it is the differentiation of moment generating function with respect to t and then plug in t is equals to 0 similarly if we differentiate this moment generating function twice that means d square again if we are differentiating this moment generating function so this becomes d square by dt square mx t so for this case this zero as it is this is a constant term expected value of x so when we differentiate expected value of x with respect to t this is zero and this this cancels out so differentiation of this term with respect to t it is simply expected value of x square and here the next term is because here the next term this is t cube by 3 factorial and this is expected value of x cube and so on. So from here, the first differentiation of this term, this is 3t square divided by 3 factorial is 6 and this is expected value of x cube and so on. So now if we differentiate this term with this is 1 and this is 2. If we differentiate this term with respect to t, so this is coming out to be 2t divided by 2 into expected value of x cube and in all the other terms we have this t term so now if we substitute 
plug in t is equals to zero, that means d square by dt square m x t and plug in t is equals to zero. So this term as it is, that is expected value of x square. And when we substitute t is equals to zero here, that means this is zero and all other terms since it is including t. So that means it is again zero. So that means the second moment about origin, it is differentiation of the moment generating function twice and then plug in t is equals to zero. So from here, we can say that expected value of x to the power n simply differentiate moment generating function n times and then plug in t is equals to zero. So using the moment generating function, we can simply compute the expected value.